Those are eating fish. Yeah, they are. <laughs> So we're out here in our windmill lot, our utility lot, and there's this patch of grass that's just been taken over. It's growing up really tall. I've had the llamas out here for the last four or five days, but they're not really making a big enough dent on it. And so kind of our plan was we set up this round pin out here. Not really a round pin, we just kind of followed the contour of the tall grass. And I think I'm gonna drop a water tub in here and mama's gonna throw the three baby horses in here. Obviously, we're not leaving them in here for any length of time, but they're gonna just be out here for an hour or two. It'll be easy, just walk them out here, let them eat on the grass for a little bit, and then throw them back into their lot. So, but that's kind of one of the things we're up to today. So, since I have it, I'm going to also go ahead and put this automatic float valve on. So, I'm just gonna throw a mineral tub out in this corral panel, set this up. So that way, I don't have to worry about do they have enough water or anything like that. Problem with this is this hose it went ahead and I ran it over or something so I've cut the end off and we're gonna go ahead and put a new end on it so all this float valve is so I just got to make sure that I have the right fitting you just slide this in So I slid that in, and to seal it, we're going to attach this piece. And it's just two Phillips head screws. Super simple way to fix your garden hoses versus throwing them away just because you run over an end and break an end off. Or smash an end. Or if you have a big hole in it, you can just cut the hose down to size and just cut your leaky spot out and make new ends. These little kits are a few dollars, maybe five dollars at your farm stores, your big box stores. There are, you can buy them almost anywhere. Anything that has a gardening section will have these pieces. Okay, so that's the garden hose fix. But I guess I need to actually build this, which is simple to do. Don't want to lose the washers. So your washer is just going to go inside here to make a watertight fitting with the hose. This float valve is actually held in place with a cotter key. So all I'm doing is lining the pieces up on the inside and then slide this cotter key through. Oh, lost my alignment. Okay, so I just pinned that in place. And I'm going to bend just one of them, one end of it up just a little bit, not a lot, but enough to where it's not going to work its way out. And these little brackets just slide into place and you can adjust your water level by which hole do I actually use. If I want the water level to be a little lower, I can set it like this. And I think I'm gonna go with that method. So I'm gonna use this top hole. And of course, this is a flathead screwdriver for this one. And I don't know if I have a flathead. So I went and got my flathead screwdriver. So I just need to tighten this bracket up. And again, we'll do the same thing to this side. Since I use top pole, I need to use top pole again. There we go. Okay. And then these little guys, what they're gonna do is they're gonna pinch the side of the trough. 
So, or mineral bucket or water tank, whatever you have, it's just gonna go in like that and it's just gonna pinch it and hold it in place that way. This little water float is, I think I paid nine something, 10 bucks at Tractor Supply. Again, you can pick these up, Orsland's Tractor Supply, Atwoods, any of your farm and garden stores should have something like this. And this is a quick, easy, cheap little way to ensure you have water. Now, the biggest trick with this is you wanna attach it to your garden hose before the trough, because once it's in the trough, it's really hard to spin the garden hose on, but it's easy to hold the garden hose in place and spin your float valve in place. So there we go. Let's go put this on a mineral tub. And this way, if we get tied up with babies and we forget about the horses and leave them in here for more than an hour or two, we don't have to worry about them running out of water. Our intentions is just to have them in here for an hour or two a day and not much more than that. Done. So that's attached. So that took us about five minutes to fill that water tank up and now we don't have to worry about it. They can drink as much as they want and if we get tied up with babies, we don't have to worry about them. Next project. <laughs> It's like a game. It is. Where's Julia?